So from what we learnt um, from our looking at this kind of mapping system is that we need to have the random number that we uh, generated to uh, pick us not actually between 0 and 400 but from 0 and 200 for our situation and we said actually the actual y position that we want to plot the top tube y not worrying about the bottom uh, position at the moment is actually going to be whatever random number it pulls out take away 350 and if we go and run that now we'll hopefully find that we've still got the issue at the first run that our tube always appears at zero on the y coordinate but now as we can see we're getting our tube to appear in a random position on the grid which is between 50 and 350 on the y position um, which is exactly what we wanted so our next job is to think about well how can we get the um, a second tube created and make that appear at just a little bit below that to give that a hundred spacing. Well, we'll go and have a go at doing that now and see how we could uh, start that off. Well, we're aware that um, we created a tube up here called Top Tube. So we probably want to create another tube. I'm just going to copy and paste this called, probably not Top Tube, but Bottom Tube. Okay. And it's still going to have the same width, and it's still going to have the same height. So that's all done for me. That's fine. Um, what else do we need to do? Well, we need to say that actually we need to be able to move that to a starting location, to well, to a location. So we've of course got our element down here, which says this is going to in here change the y position of the top tube, top tube y. So what we realistically need to do is set the bottom tube Y as well. So I wouldn't really like to have this in a separate sub, which then leads me to think, well, actually, maybe the name of my sub is getting a bit dated. Maybe I just need to say change rather than top tube Y. We'll just say change tube Y because it could be either of them. And of course, because this is the only place I'm calling that, I'm going to change that in here as well. So change tube Y, and as well as changing the top tube Y, we need to go and change a new variable called bottom tube Y. Bottom tube Y. Now, what is that going to equal? Well, let's go back to our diagram for a second. And it's always going to be, comparably to this position, how much further down is it going to be? Well, it's 400 pixels to get to the bottom of the blue. 100 pixels to get across the gap. So that tells me it's going to be 500 pixels more than the other one's location. So when we go back here, random, take away 350, blah, 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 it gets our top tube Y. So in here, we're going to say, well, whatever top tube Y is, we'd actually like to get that and add on 500 pixels. And that should be able to draw our next tube in the correct place. There's only one more step we're forgetting here, and that is in here. We do shape stop move top tube, but we now need to move our bottom tube. So shapes dot move open brackets, and as we can see again over here, the shape name, which is going to be bottom tube this time, we'd like to move it to the same x position as um, the any other tube. So it's going to be tube x. And we're also going to need to move it to, well, not the top tube Y, but the one we've just created, the bottom tube Y. And if we go and run that program now, we've again got this issue of, um, which we'll fix before the end of this tutorial, actually, because we don't want that to keep happening. And we've now got our two tubes creating our 100 pixel spacing gap. So hopefully, no matter how often this goes now, it will never be further from 50 either side and we'll keep getting a random gap up here. So just as one uh, quick solution then, should we fix the problem of our tube appearing in the centre of the screen to start with? And I think the best way to do that is to actually, before we run the while loop and start anything moving, 
why don't we just go and set the two positions ready to roll before it goes into the while loop so that when it draws the first time round, it's not using top tube's Y position. Um, it will actually use, or zero, it will actually use whatever it finds. So we could probably take this line out and tell it to run the change tube Y function instead. So change tube Y function. Um, and that will give it its place before it starts running. So let's go and test that out. And sure enough, we go straight into a point where we've got our tubes in a random position, which works out just fine.